Hello and welcome back for one final time of this week. Match day 46 in this AFL League 1 playthrough. Yes, it's the last week of matches and this will determine who's in the playoffs, who goes up automatically and who goes down. Now, under my suspicions, I did look at the, uh, the AFL League 1 table and it, it is four teams that will be relegated. And if you look at the league table... Cambridge United cannot catch Crew Alexander, so the four teams relegated from my playthrough are Cambridge United, Doncaster Rovers, Morecambe, and I'm sorry to say, Accrington Stanley. So then, four teams' uh, positions already decided, although it's not won't be in that order, depending on results. Well, we're going to concentrate on the top, and we've got Sheffield Wednesday, who are the champions, and they're. And they're at home today to Wimbledon, and that will be the first game up, as Wimbledon are on 68 points, Wigan are on 67, as a point difference. So Wimbledon need to do the same or better than Wigan to cement their sixth place, and then the the last place of the playoffs for this season. And the other game we're going to go to, well, obviously we're going to go to Wigan, and they're away to Oxford United, who have who are in the fifth position in the playoffs. So we're going to say they... We also know what they've got to do after the, we've watched the Wimbledon game against Sheffield Wednesday. And then finally, we're going to go to Lincoln City. And they'll be away to Cambridge United. I say as they're one of the relegated sides. And the automatic promotion place will be between them and Cheltenham Town, which we will so. And they play Shrewsbury Town. So let's get to the first game of our playthrough and it's going we're going to go to the champions of my AFL League One Sheffield Wednesday congratulations Sheffield as they take on Wimbledon so Sheffield Wednesday crown champions of this AFL League One playthrough and the team has gone for today and they're hoping to put a dent in Wimbledon's chances of getting in the top six as now the crowd full house Ah, they welcome Wimbledon, who oh, know they need at least a point. They can't get afford to get beaten, because Wigan will be in that sixth position. But they've got a... Well, they've, unfortunately, they're going to be playing Sheffield Wednesday. So, it's going to be Wimbledon. And it's Sheffield Wednesday to get the game on the way. And they're blue and white strike, black shorts. Wimbledon, all yellow, kicking right to left as Windass presses forward for Sheffield Wednesday out to Brannan to Hunt uh, can he get a cross in he's got one into the near post Who's that? Ooh, and well that was a chance for Sheffield to take the lead it's nice to play down to Hunt on the right hand side he's crossed it in oh and it's agonisingly wide no need to take the corner kick for Wimbledon Oh, that's oh, and it's oh, and the keeper has made a right mess of that. And Wimbledon getting forward in numbers. There's Chislet out to Sue Guinness Walker. Can he cross one? He can, but straight at Walsmith. Out to Guinness Walker. Oh, now Mabuse. Can he cross one this time? He can, but it's. Again at Walsmith with 30 minutes in, it's still goalless and well. Side to Windass. Oh, that's a good ball, a good block. Well, Sheffield Delhi. Presley. Verdoni. That's out. Presley. And Verdoni making a run on his left hand side. Side to poor ball by Rodoni. Windass. Oh, well played. Go. No. There's Canberry. Got the run. Bannon. Sporting well. Canberry. Long shot. Oh, my. What a goal. Oh, Sheffield Wednesday take the lead on 34 minutes. Canberry. Unleashing a shot. Unstoppable. And the champions are one up. Well, it's a body blow for Wimbledon. Oh, boy, what a goal. What a strike from Canberry. Bannon 
orchestrated in midfield. He's, oh, it's just him off the post and in. So, Mumble did it down, 1 0. Well, uh, the poor pass. Simple pass needed. There's uh, Mindas. Oh, and Kabir is in. That's coming in to that goal, but oh, Guinness Walker good tracking back. And he clears. Well done to Bannon. Well, that's the half time whistle. It's Sheffield Wednesday 1, Wimbledon 0. And I must say, Wimbledon haven't looked like creating much at all. Yes, Wimbledon will definitely need a point because the, we're going to have a better goal difference when there's Guinness Walker. Can he cross? In he can. Story. Chislet. How to get his walk up. Chislet. He's going to shot one from distance, but that's not going to bother. Good yard. The ball to. Oh, it's flipped over. Dean will have a chance, but wow, well, Wall Smith's. And no power. Way right along the floor. Wall Okay, Berry. Now, a nice cross to the far post, but Pazanev. And it's reviewed. Can we chisel it again? Cross one to the far post. Got one in. Oh, and it's Hassel with Smith. <laughs> well, it's all frantic, and well, we were done our trying. Oh, it's going to be Sheffield Wednesday reviewed off and Andrews on well, Wimbledon and a change oh and a chance of Windass oh he's put it wide well failed to clear it Wimbledon just wide let's get his walk up so Chasing down this left hand side. They'll probably cross one. Oh, Guinness Walker just catching his heels. Referee says play on, but no. He's going to come back for the free kick. Yeah, Guinness Walker having a bit of a talking to. A little bit of frustration coming into the Wimbledon game. Yeah, just clipping his heels. So, it's going to be Brandon to take it. Got bodies in the box, and Windass head us down, and that's his two goals to nil. At Wimbledon, we'll be sitting on the nerves now as their fans bite their fingernails. I'm hoping Oxford can do them a favour when we can take them on in the next game. But what a superb header down. Tells them have no chance. Sheffield Wednesday take a two goal comfortable lead now. And, well. Andrews down to Guinness Walker. Oh, and it's Chislet. Marsh out to. Oh, and it's chance for Robinson to get in. That's good defending again. Is there one last? Well, they get one so we can have a frantic five minutes, but uh, Hutchinson. And Windass, Kimberry, back to Byers. Oh, Kimberry's in! 3 0. Concentration's gone, Wimbledon all at sea. Kimberry capitalising and puts three goals for Sheffield Wednesday. And to finish their season off with an honour. High note. You can see Wimbledon, yeah, just all at sea. And that's past Tazanev. Well, three goals to nil. It's not what they wanted. Woodyard can just walk up. There's Woodyard. Andrews has come on this. And it's cost, but it's got to be a final corner. I've got one last chance to get a bit of a consolation. Although it's a little bit too late. Woodyard to take it. To the far post, Andrews. 
Agnes Walker will play this back in, but that's the final whistle. Sheffield Wednesday, the champions. Finish on a I know it was an emphatic victory against Wimbledon. Three goals to nil. Canberra with two. And Windus. Wow. Wow, so that's going to make the next game. Very, very interesting. Sheffield Wednesday, three. Wimbledon, nil. Wimbledon hoping now that Oxford United can do them a favour and beat Wigan. Wigan will only need a point to secure the sixth spot in the playoffs. So without further ado, let's get to the Cassim Stadium down in Oxford for that vital game against Wigan. Well, we all know what we're going to got to do now. They just need a point, that's all. And they will be in the playoffs. And Oxford United are already there in fifth position. So this game is really a relevance of where they'll finish in the league. But Wigan Athletic... Well, they just got to hang on to a, a, at least a point. After we know that Wimbledon have got beaten by Sheffield Wednesday, three goals to nil. And the Castle Stadium looking quite to, quite nice today. And uh, Oxford United, they want to go on a winning, they want to go on a winning streak to, well, get the confidence up for the playoffs. Well, anyway, they're in the yellow and blue. Uh, we're going to, of course, blue, white, strong, it's blue shorts. And they're kicking right to left, there's Smiles, Winnell. And it's power, Tower, Taylor! Oh, and almost catching Jones out. Oh, that was... Oh, what a save by Jones. And it's a chance for... But, oh, well played, the keeper. Oh, had to make a decision, and he... And it stands for McLean, it's through. Humphreys is through, but the keeper's got to get there first and puts it out of the throw. Corrin. Out to Taylor. Smithy. Taylor. Matt Taylor. Sudden. And it's a good ball into the box, but... Ooh. Well, I think the defender just got there in time. He's put it out for the corner. Uh, bumped it into one another, a Sykes. Forward to Winnell. Forward to Smithies. Oh, Winnell. Oh, it took a deflection, but Jamie Jones in the Wigan goal. Has a chance for a break. Powell going across to Seddon. Oh, what more? Wow, uh, just got more of the man than the ball. That's probably going to earn him a booking. Yes, it's... Slide it in. We know to take it. Taylor off at the moment. Oxford down to ten. That's a good head in, but James... And there's the chance for... Humphries. Down to McLean, who's got past long. Can he beat him with pace? He can, he's got... Ooh, and it's just been... His... And Cousins with a shot! Oh, it's come off the defender. Well, Nail up to Cousins. This side to Shinney. Down the line to McLean, Shinney's behind. Well, can he get one to the Barbos? He can! It took a deflection, but straight into the hands of Weeswood. Oh, chance for oh, power, can he? Oh, he just couldn't quite connect. Oh, that's the half time whistle. It's Oxford nil, Wigan nil. It's what Wigan want, but it's all nervy stuff. See again. Get one to the far post, he has tilts there, but... And Cousins, oh, the, oh, that's another deflected. Oh, that's done well to keep that out from a corner, it's going to be a throw to Wigan. Oh, he tried to find McLean, but it's straight to Smythe, now. Then they've got to get back, Taylor, Smith, Kane, Corrin, 
Nice! And it's a chance for Winnell with a good save again by the keeper. Oh my! Well, we again, he's been dispossessed. Taylor, Winnell. Tilt going with him. And it's Tilt with Winnell again. Cross over to the far post. Safely out. Taylor. He's crossing one over. Winnell's with an header, but. Well, oh, there was no power. And Jones easy in the Wigan goal. Takes it as George and Jones. Nail up. Power. Nail up. Tilt. Oh, Tilt's been, been dispossessed. Now then, there's a chance for. And a chance for Winnell's in. Oh, and he scores! How vital will that be? In the context of the playoff positions. Now Tilt. Lost possession in midfield. And that opened the counter-attack from Oxford United and Winnell. Well, he's took advantage. And he's put Oxford United in the lead. But the Wigan man just strong enough power. Jordan Jones across the park to Cousins to McLean. Shinny down towards McLean. Can he get one in? McGinnis! Keeper saves. Oh, wasn't that a chance? Nicely played again by Shinny and McLean who had a super game on that left hand side. Nobody there just to pass it in. Oh, it's going to be a clean to take it. And they get on for Smythe. Uh, up to the far post. Massey to edit. No. There's Massey. And Cousins. Chance. Yes, Sam McGinnis is equalised. Oh, John McGuinness has equalised for Wigan and that puts them into the top six. Ten minutes to go. Pressure's paid off. Well, you can see the delight on the police faces of the, the players. The fans must be ecstatic. Hey, Massey. Put it inside. Because he's trying the shot, it's come off the defender. And the keeper was on the floor. Oxford United won, Wigan Athletic won. They now lead from Wimbledon. Just put this as far as they can. Right up towards Bayliss. And it's McLean, Shinny. And it's... Oh, Cousins! Oh, Eastwood saved it right there. Oh, that would have been an absolute bonus for Wigan Athletic. Played inside, and he's just tried to point it to the near post. That's going to be clean to take it. Head along the ground to... Oh, but he's lost it. Now they need to get back. You know, long side to Kane. And it's a chance for Winnell again. Yes! Oh, my. Oh, dear. Well, I'm sorry, Wigan. <laughs> Oh, tried one at the near post from a genius, but not this for set. Sosh has come away. Ram has put Oxford in the lead, 2-1. <sighs> See the run, nobody picking him up, nobody got the strength. Winnell, well, he's just absolutely powered it past Jones. And we're going to out of this top six. They've got to come back again. There's Massey.
Offside. Bloody hell. What? Two and a half minutes left plus stoppage time. You never know. There's Bayliss. There's a chance. Oh, a Massey. Bayliss. Cousins. Poor oh, shot. Bueno. The guy. Bueno. Kilts. Oh, he need a chance to. So it's getting in the middle. Oh, guy. Oh, oh there they were doubling the lead for Oxford. That'll be a force to be reckoned with in the playoffs. Ooh, just wide. Machino up towards, and that is the final whistle. Yeah, you can see it on the faces of Wigan. They've failed in their attempt to get in the top six. And it's Oxford United. They take the victory here. Um, they already concurred in the in the playoffs, but it's Wimbledon who will make up the fourth team in the playoffs. So Wigan Athletic are the team that will go to will be out of the playoffs. It's Wimbledon who will take that fourth spot. Now we're going to go for the top two positions now we've got to see who's going to get automatic promotion first of all I think it might be um, Cheltenham and Shrewsbury so let's go to Shrewsbury before the Gets game and the simple answer is Cheltenham Town need the victory a point is absolutely no no value to them whatsoever because of the inferior goal difference to Lincoln City. So Cheltenham Town, well, they've got to win the game. The block of Wally. Oh, this side on this wrong side side. Pollock chasing. Well, oh, it's good ball into the near post, but Flinders collects easy for Cheltenham. Raglan, Boyle, Bonds. Cheltenham Town in the lead in this league for so long but there's a ball into the box oh it's nearly an own goal and well, it flashed past the post it's a little close for comfort now Jake ways to take this corner kick there's one in oh it's in post as Cheltenham has taken the lead and it's Raglan at the near post Wow, what a start for Cheltenham Town. That's just what the doctor ordered. And Cheltenham Town now, we're in the lead. Well, it was a near, near post cross from the corner kick. Raglan took it down beautifully. And, well, two people on the near post, but it's managed to find its way into the net. So, that's probably game on now. And, yes, it's... Now uh, puts pressure on Lincoln City. Fell up. And there's Wally. Inside to Lesh Bella. Now the line to Wally. And he's cut it inside. Chapman chasing. Ah, oh, and it's... No, it's Wally again. Daniels. Oh, it's to Cosgrove. Cosgrove almost equalises. That's the danger. That is the danger. Nice ball played in the to Cosgrove his turn, but uh, just enough to put him off. Chapman. Oh, it's over the top to Joseph. Can he get a ball on? He can. Chapman. Almost. There's right with a shot. Oh, it's took a deflection. That'll be a corner kick. Again, Cheltenham Town had him pressure. Shrewsbury Town not dealing with it. Good shot. That's deflected out. Corner kick. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Pollock just tracking him down this line. Oh, Bennett again. Good block. Oh, and it's. Well. Is that a penalty? It's a penalty. 
Oh, Cheltenham Town. Oh, the ball came into the box. They were having a little bit, bit of a nibble at Lesh Bellum. But, ah, it's just... Well, he's got his arms all round him, Pollock, and that is a penalty. So... Oh, and he's hit the ball! Oh, and he's missed it! Oh, what a let off for Cheltenham. Uh, it's just hit the ball, come down, and... Well, he's missed an open goal. So, the line to Joseph. Chapman again. Inside to Bonds. Careful build-up. Flipped over the top, Flanagan. Bonds with a shot, but it's... They caught it nicely, but it's just gone wide. Right. Chapman. Oh, Joseph, nice turn by Joseph. He took the shot and... Well, tried to get it into the near post, but the keeper's made the save. Joseph having a good game. He flicks inside and it's... Oh, that's a good save by the keeper. Chaplin. Oh, and Brown trying to... Oh, he's been brought down and that's going to be a foul. Oh, shielding the ball, but he's been... Well, so unceremoniously brought down Brown. He's got a touch in his knee, so he's got a bit of an injury. And they need treatment. See, he's just... Just followed through the man to get the ball. Can't do that. It's going to be Jake Ways to take this free kick. And it's played into a dangerous ball. And it's... Well, the defender got his head to it first. And it's gone for a corner kick. Far side is Jake Ways. Now here's a chance for Cheltenham to break. He's going to get one through the middle. He is. Oh, and it's... Chapman... Down the line to Joseph, across the park. Oh, and it's cleared. As we go into two minutes of stoppage time. And Cheltenham will be happy with this. One nil up. And Wally straight in. Pierre, Wally. And there's the half time whistle. Well, it's good news for Cheltenham Town there. One nil up. Thanks to Raglan after 12 minutes, but Shrewby Town missing a penalty. Just watching the run. Oh, Jake Way is just... Oh, that's a good ball to the far post. And it's cleared away in desperate measures by Cheltenham. And, uh, nice fell up. Oh, that's a good ball in. Crosslow's got a good head on that. And he's on double save. Oh, Cosgrove thought he'd scored, but double save by Flinders in the Cheltenham goal. First one off the head, and then again just recovering. It's going to be a corner kick. Well, Ruby Towers, they've had the chances. Straight ways. And it's out. Oh, what it's chance for. Oh, Brown's been brought down. Referee says no penalty. Well, he's gone down again. Looks like he's going to be... He'll have to come off. Uh, he's lying in the pitch, down in the pitch. And uh, Daniels. Uh, Brown's got up, but I think it's going to have to be a substitution. Chapman away to Nundolo. And it's Ramsey. And chance for Jake Ways. Now he's got round the back of the defence. He's got a chance. Oh, and it's... Well, he took it a little bit too far, Morosi. Oh, Nundolo comes off. Alfie May replacing him up top. Uh, Jake Ways to take the throw. We'll take a long one. And it's... May got a flick on Joseph, and that's 2 0. My Cheltenham Town have done the business. 
and the two substitutes, Alfie May and Joseph combining from the throw from Jake, Jake Ways well, Cheltenham Town can't do any more and they go two goals clear so Ruby Town have not done Lincoln City any favours whatsoever there's Lehi down the far side to Wally Jason the corner but that's way way over up to Jake Ways and he's oh well teasing and tested him and it's brought him down he's got to probably be a book in yes I'm not surprised so Chapman to take it it's going to be So Chapman to take it. Players in the box. Oh, it's gone to the far post. Right, it's going to try one. Keeper's made the save. Well, Jake Ways comes back on. And it's chance for Caton. A little bit of defending to do. It's fell for Vela. Oh, and it's has been checked, the ball to the far post, Caton, bombs out, Bennett's and it's Alfie May, Chapman, and it's going to go very forward, Joseph, but Pierre tidies up, well we're into the last minute and Flanagan, we've got two minutes of stoppage time, Cheltenham have done what they need to do, they've run away, well, now Jake Way is getting the. There's a chance for <laughs> Davis. Daniels is the one last. Some consolation from Shrewsbury Town, but I think it's too late now. It's gone out, but Ramsey should clear out. And that's, and that's the final whistle. It's Shrewsbury Town nil, Cheltenham Town 2. Well, Cheltenham Town, I've put the pressure onto Lincoln City now. Of course, Lincoln need to win away at Cambridge. Well, state of affairs now. Cheltenham Town are in second place at the moment. And simple mathematics says Lincoln City need to win. And they're away to Cambridge United who have been relegated. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the final game. So, let's get to... Cambridge United to see their game against Lincoln City. Well, Lincoln City know exactly what they've got to do today. Well, they don't. <laughs> we do. <laughs> they've got to get the win to secure the second spot on an automatic promotion to the Championship. But Cambridge United are in the way. And Cambridge already relegated. So they'll be playing for pride more than anything, but Lincoln City must, must win after we've just seen Cheltenham Town beat Shrewsbury on this near side, come to take it. The boy up, back to the Grandals. He'll cast one in, and it's... Ooh, Marquis almost getting them. There they roam up. Jones, had a luck in. He's played one through the middle, oh, and... Oh, it's almost got through to Marquis, but mate, O'Neill, Smith. So Cambridge were playing for some pride here. And Dallas gets this. Well, he got the turn in. A little, little bit more. So the Grandals to take this free kick just inside the link. God, I can Carver. And it's a chance that come off the player. Now it's a goal kick. Dean up. Mate. Smith. Oh, he's tried the long shot. Oh, and keeper couldn't hold it. And, well, if he forward a little bit more alert, he would have actually tucked it into an empty net. But the keeper couldn't hold the shot. It's dipping all the time. Well, that's a good ball in, but... Erdale. Smith. Oof. 
Again, his body's in the way. Far side to Jones. Chance for the licking. Ali Roma. Ah, the lickings. Got the cross in. And Marquis is at the post. Oh, how lucky was that? Oh, it's a poor throw, but it's managed to find the Cambridge man now. Well, Steve Smith broke the offside trap. Monsman's coming across, but oh, it's good covering tackle. Big big. Oh, he put some pace on the game. So Cambridge got nothing to lose whatsoever. They've already relegated. But May always oh, cut inside, and well, it's just a weak shot, and it's gone past the post. Oh, well, they're going to destiny for the playoffs again. There's Marquis. The Gundals. There's Rondon. No, Rondon's got through. Got a chance for Rondon. And it's, well, what a waste. Rondon's, oh, it took too much time. It's a beautiful ball through. He beat the, got through the Dickens. Oh, well, he just allowed the player to come in. Masterson. Oh, he's getting it away to Marquis. On the far side, he's had a lick in. He's got through. Now he's into the far line. Can he get one in? He can't. Gone down. That's uh, a penalty. Ah, uh, Lincoln City get a penalty. The Cambridge players are absolutely incensed by it, but it's going to be a penalty. Had a lick again to the by line. Masterson's come in and just checked him out. So, what a chance, what a chance. For Marquis to give Lincoln the lead. Can he get one? He has, he's tucked it into the corner. Ah, Lincoln City by the fortuitous of a penalty. Take the lead on 33 minutes. They had a lick in there, oh, a bit of a doubt about it, but the referee has no doubt in his mind that it's a penalty. Marquis has just tucked it into the corner. Beating the keeper, 1-0 Lincoln to Digby. Super penalty, wasn't it? Smith! Smith! Oh, good save, Griffiths. Almost an instant response from Cambridge. Poor... Oh. It's that dready turn. So, and keeper's made the save. Williams, oh, it's a short one to Erdale. Put it into the box. Good end on, but Griffith smooth, smothers the ball. And that's a foul. A three. Well, he's given a yellow card. The boy just getting in a little bit too heavy. Three. Well, it was a little bit after, weren't it? So, see where the yellow card had, uh, was warranted. Uh, William to take the free kick. Take it sh short to Masterson. Burdell on that left hand side. It's a good cross in! Yes! And Cambridge equalised. Three minutes before half time, and Smith. Well, he's had a couple of three chances, but this time he's got. His head to the ball, beat the defence in the air. That was equalised for Cambridge. Well, you see, it's good cross, and Smith just got the head and beat Griffiths. Well, that's made it interesting. And, and it's now Cheltenham Town in second place. Grandals. Maguire. London, Longdon's with a shot. Mannion saves. Well, here we go. Last 45 minutes. Lincoln City in third place in the league as we start this second half. Maguire. Oh, it's ball to McGrandles. McGrandles. Oh, it's a chance for Longdon. Can he get one? Yes, he can. In the first minute of the second half. Well, Lincoln City regained the lead, Longdon latching onto a ball. Well, 
Mars Lincoln City in the driving seat once again. Cambridge United called, called straight after the half time whistle. Beautiful ball over London just tucking it down and into the corner. And a bit of corner kick to Lincoln City. Longan's at the near post. He's trying to click one to the back. Oh, and it quiz! Oh, it's. Oh, it bouncing about in that box now. Then Chelsea, Cambridge to break. He rolls it out to Gundles. Who's had a licking down the mass centre? Now it's Marquis is through. Oh, and it's got a chance for into the empty net. Yes. And Lincoln City take a 3-1 lead. And surely that will put them through to the promotion place. Beautiful ball over. Marquis threw on goal. Keepers made a commitment. Got to the ball first, but well, it's just blasted into the empty net. And again. Well, a good play by Marquis. Keepers come out, committed. And well, you can see straight into the empty net. 3 1 Lincoln City. Oh, and now Longdon. Can he get to the ball first? He can. And it's McCarquiss. Through to Adelikin. Adelikin's through. Can he get one? Can he score? Oh, he's gone right across the face of the goal. Oh, O'Neill, and now is a chance through. Dallas is. Oh, but oh, Neil, what? Well, Lincoln City are just making himself hard work for themselves. The Clayton's all sorts of problems for them, and it's going to be Williams to take it. Lawrence's on for Longdon, and it's a good head in, but Erdale with a shot, but well, no direction. Lawrence to Cam. On that left hand side. Oh, it's a chance for Khan. Well, a bit ambitious to score from there, but. Well, it's. Kadena, three minutes of stoppage time, that's all there is. Things are looking good for Lincoln City. And surely the time's up. And they're going to get the second spot. And with Sheffield Wednesday, we'll be in the championship. In my playthrough, of course. Have a look in. All the way back to Griffiths. That should be enough. He gets it out. There's the final whistle. Cambridge United 1, Lincoln City 3. And Lincoln City secure. Their place into the championship. Well, congratulations, Lincoln City. They enjoy Sheffield Wednesday in my playthrough and get promotion automatically into the championship. And that will put Cheltenham Town into the playoffs. So, that's the games that featured today in this last round of matches. And so, let's get the rest of the results from this week and a roundup of the final league table. Well, what a thrilling finish to the end of the season there, and Lincoln City securing the second spot, an automatic promotion to the championship. So let's get the results from the final week. We've got Accrington Stanley 1, Rotherham 0. Accrington Stanley, the bottom club, having a couple of wins on the bounce there on for the last two games, so if you couldn't do that earlier in the year, but... Anyway, it's Bolt Wanderers 1, Wickham Wanderers 1. Wickham had a very disappointing season. Burton Albion 0, Sunderland 0. Even worse for Sunderland. And Cambridge United 1, Lincoln City 3 confirms as a result. There we're from uh, the Cambridge Stadium, Abbey Stadium. And Lincoln City say they've got the second spot automatically promoted. And Charlton Athletic 4, MK Dons 1. Well, MK Dons had an outside chance of sneaking up that uh, uh, they've gone heavily to Charlton Athletic Doncaster Rovers 2 Plymouth Argyle 0 Chillingham 0 Fleetwood Town 0 uh, Morecambe 1 Crew Alexandra 0 and Crew Alexandra say they just got crammed to safety 
Uh, we've got Oxford United 2, Wigan Athletic 1, Wigan missing out on the playoffs, going down 2-1 to Oxford United, Portsmouth 0, uh, Ipswich Town 0, so Ipswich Town are also having the playoffs, so we've got Shepherd Wednesday 3, emphatically beating Wimbledon by 3 goals to nil. so they did the Wigan a favour, but Wigan couldn't reply the compliment, and finally we saw Shrewsbury Town 0, Cheltenham Town 2, they did what they had to do, but well, they've just missed out and they'll end up in the playoffs. So that's match day 46 out of the way. Let's have a look at the final league table of this year's EFL League 1 on my playthrough. Well, there you can see confirmation. First and second, Sheffield went to Lincoln City. I put the full uh, table up there, home and away. Well, they, uh, they did home and away. Say so Sheffield went only lost two away, so... Uh, well, their own form was slightly been different to the away form, but Lincoln City there in second place on 80, seven points behind Sheffield Wednesday, and um, firstly just by a point, keeping Cheltenham out of the top two positions. There are four playoff places. We've got Cheltenham Town, Oxford, Ipswich Town, and Wimbledon, and Cheltenham Town will play Wimbledon. Oxford United will play Ipswich Town. So they're the playoff. Uh, so we're playing them at some some point, but I just want to sort the squads out at the moment. And say Wigan in seventh place, just missing out by a point to Wimbledon. If they'd have got a, a point, they would have been they would have been in the uh, in the playoffs. Uh, if you can see the confirmation at the bottom, Doncaster Rovers, Morecambe, Cambridge United, and Accrington Stanley are your four teams that are relegated. So I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. This will probably be the last. Depending on what eFootball does, if they give us an edit mode and we can put the league, AFL League One in there and, and various teams we want to, we'll see what that happens. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, so I'll put, we'll come back for the playoffs and uh, hopefully we can see who actually joins Lincoln and Sheffield Wednesday. So thank you very much for watching these this playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been up and down, but. We've uh, got there in the end, 46 weeks, and uh, yeah, that's what it is. Well, thank you very much. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next season. Thank you. Bye.